Hello there, this is yours truly, CLJ, back inside the kitchen, and tonight we are not having Uber Eats, but we are having a meal prep of linguine and Italian meatballs with some sauces and seasoning with the butter right here. And we got the water being boiled, it's bubbling, and we're going to begin with Laguini from San Giorgino Laguini highly recommend it I was gonna do the I was gonna do this let's get you on here the ritotti but it was only half so I said let me just use the whole whole box let me use that well, ladies and gentlemen we're going to do it the right way I was going to use this, ladies and gentlemen, but now nah, it's only half, so I'm just so I just left it here as like a you know like a little stand, and we're going to get on the butter. Let me get the as soon as this starts bubbling, I'm going to put the all the pasta in. And then I got all the seasonings. My preferred seasoning when I'm doing my meal preps is garlic powder, onion powder, the last set of parsley flakes, oregano, that is a good one. Don't have rosemary, unfortunately, but I have this red crushed pepper. And here's the meatballs. I'm going to put all up in here. This should be about four to five nights. You know, I might end up making the meatballs even smaller than this. I don't know. I probably... I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think I should do? Yeah, I'm going to use this. Got it from Walmart. Called the Great Value Pork Italian Sausage with Parmesan in it. Three dollars and well, three dollars and thirty-three cents. Well, let's let's start. Let me see. Could I do this one-handed, ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely not. So here it is. This is what the I'm about to stop recording so I can get on to cooking. Put them up in there, and until the next CJ, CLJ video. Peace, love, and happiness. See you on the next one. We're back, back in the kitchen. Yours truly, CLJ. And now we got the butter in, and we're letting it simmer. We got that inside. Now we're going to put in the meatballs. We'll put them in like so. One, two, Three. You put them all on, man. Four. I highly recommend these too if you have a Walmart in your area. Five. Pick them up, you know. You know, if you want like some, you know, and if you don't do pork or anything like that, then definitely stay away from these. Okay, that's six, seven. Two, ten of these. Eight. Let's see here. Nine. I guess nine. Oh, away, huh? Eight. Twelve. Put this. Put it like that. I'm going to put any seasoning with those. Absolutely not. Now, got the hunger in the way. Put that there. Put the trash here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Got the meatballs. And I'm going to go put in the pasta. There she goes. I 
get them all, gotta get them all, gotta get them all. No, I didn't. I didn't get them all. And what am I doing, ladies and gentlemen? I need to get handy dandy spatula. Yeah, I'm just making these. It's been a while since I did this. Uh, well, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I make the same thing. I make either the put in the oven pizza or the chicken nuggets or chicken tenders or I think the sub one that I did last week that was very that was that was new what I ever do and sometimes I did the you know breakfast for pizza breakfast for dinner and I'm about to straighten that out yeah let's go straighten that out here ladies and gentlemen what's this here. Say hello to the reflection. Now this going in. Oh, look at that. That is in. That is in. in. See this? Oh, I guess you got a couple who don't want to play ball. So now we got this. Put that down for a little bit. Put that up a little bit. Now we're going to get to the seasonings. Parsley flakes. Childhood favorite. That's gone. Onion powder. Say hi to the camera. Just put it all in. Just dump it all in. Garlic powder. This is my. Let's want to torn it. Now look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. I'm going to put in, let me say that for last. McCormick. Oregano leaves. Just a little bit. And, last but not least, crushed red pepper. Mmm. There you go. And that is all that she wrote. That's all that she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're going to do a panoramic view. Now let's get in focus here. There we go, my dear. Yeah, we got that, and guess so now I'm going to get this. I'm going to leave it in the pot because I'm extremely like that. And I think if I can put all this, the sauce, I mean the seasoning inside, I won't say it's sauce. Do forgive me for, for that previous one. I put all the salt and seasoning inside the pasta right here that I don't, you know, I just let this be, you know, keep it at zero. And, hey, just, unfortunately, I don't have any sweet peas or tomatoes. I, you know, the can opener, I got to get a new can opener. So, that's going to be missing out. I know, that's a dang shame. Well, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is concludes part two of the cooking with CLJ meal prep. And until the next one, peace, love, and happiness. Catch you on part three. Hey, we're back. It's yours truly. And this is a little pop quiz foodie CLJ video. As you can tell, it is cleaner. I put the stuff up. Got the meatballs. Meatin'. Before and again, this is not for the faint of heart. This is not for the faint of heart. I'm trying to make the camera move, but it doesn't want to go nowhere. Then we have the we have the Laguini, Laguinian. Oh, look at that! 
Hey, just a little pop quiz, ladies and gentlemen. You know, what is your favorite cooking with CLJ videos? Maybe I can make more of them. You know, maybe I should do like a like a like one of those mukbang type videos where you know, uh, you know uh, uh, where you see you know a person eating like 50 chicken nuggets or something like that. I can do that on here with the cooking with CLJ. Let me know and all of that. You know. You want me to do more, you know, vegan stuff. You want me to do more meat. You want me to do more subs or, you know, French fries or veggies or in betweens. And yeah, just let me know in the comments below. Until next time, peace, love, and happiness. Part three of the CLJ cooking with video. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the pretty much the finale of this. We have the. Yeah, you know, the Italian sauces that I have, I end up chopping up into smaller pieces so that I can have more bang for the buck. I used it, this right here, the handy dandy spatula. I just did that pretty much. And I chopped them down to this so I can have more. And here's the pasta, which is, I drained it out because I don't like all that, you know, I drained all the water out, but I'm letting it simmer with the noodles. And here you go to the final product. And I am thinking about making some broccoli. I might just do that, ladies and gentlemen. Put some broccoli with it. You know, get some color and texture to this. I'm thinking about doing that. Because I got bag salads up in there. They expire on the 10th. So I can have it tonight, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And we are now almost to. I, I like my stuff well done. Meat, burgers, you name it. Well done. Steak. I don't do that medium rare stuff. I'm just not. No. I never have. Never will. Don't wait this until this is. You know, I get a couple more minutes. And this is simmering. Simmer, simmer, simmer. I say this about four bowls, including tonight. Yeah, with the salad. So it'll be four to five. And then you know, I took the troll sausage and I chopped them up. I chopped them up two times, so it should be 12, 24, 36. And 36 of them, so I probably put in first thing, about six. Six each. And. And that's about it for this video of part three of Cooking Seal J, the Linguini Italian Sausage Meal Prep. And until the grand finale, I'm going to have it on a bowl for you guys. Because I was, you know, friends asked me, when are you going to put it in the bowl so you can present it? So that's going to be the next video. Until then. Until next time. Happy eating, take it easy, and bye-bye.